Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today I am going to describe you the histological model of the liver. So this is the model of the liver you can see. There are three different ways to describe histologically the structure of the liver in terms of the functional unit. So the one way to describe the functional unit is to uh, describe is the it's the uh, classical lobule this is a hexagonal shape lobule which is classic hepatic lobule second way to describe the uh, structure or uh, histologically of the stomach is to um, describe in terms of the portal lobule and third way to describe histological structure is in terms of the liver acinus or acinus of the wrapper port. So I uh, describe in detail to you in um, this model. First we will discuss the classic hepatic lobule. So this is a hexagonal block of the uh, hexagonal block of the tissue uh, in which and the center of which the central vein is present and this is the um, cross section of the hepatic liver lobule. You can see uh, this is a hexagonal block of the tissue. In the center of this hexagonal block there is the central vein and this central vein is also called the terminal hepatic lobule. Uh, from at each corner of this uh, hexagonal block of classic lobule there are the areas where the portal triads are present. So these portal triad consist of the bile duct, the portal vein and hepatic artery and in addition to these three structures the bile duct, the portal vein and the hepatic artery. So in addition to these three structures the lymphatic vessels are also present in the portal area that is why this word the portal triad is actually a misnomer. So, in the center you can see this is the terminal hepatic one venule or the central vein and from which you can see radiating cards of the hepatocytes and these radiating cards are either 1 to 2 cell thick. In between uh, these radiating cards you can see the uh, sinusoids are present. Uh, the limit minimal amount of connective tissue is present in case of the hepatic lobule in uh, liver of the humans. Uh, so, uh, uh, while studying the slides microscopically, it is difficult to describe the hexagonal shape. We have to draw the imaginary lines over there to understand the classic hepatic lobule. Second way to describe the uh, hepatic lobule is the uh, you can see this is the triangular shape uh, structure. This is the portal lobule. At the center of the portal lobule is the portal area where you can see the bile duct, the portal vein and the hepatic artery are present. So this is the central and this is a triangular shape area. At each corner of the triangle you can see central vein or terminal hepatic vein which is present and uh, of, of all the adjacent hepatic classic lobule and this pattern uh, this manner to histologically describe the structure of the hepatic uh, lobule this is the portal lobule it best explains the exocrine function of the liver. The third way to describe the hepatic lobule is the as liver acinus or acinus of wrapper port. This is a lozenge shape or diamond shape area. At the center you can see there is a short axis which is formed by the anastomosing branch of the portal vein and hepatic artery and the long axis are formed by an imaginary line drawn from the nearby two central vein or terminal hepatic venule. Then we div uh, dis divide the structure of the uh, liver acinus into three zones. The zone one is nearest to the uh, short axis and zone uh, 3 is farthest from the short axis and zone 2 is intermediate between the these three uh, zones and these three zones best describe the uh, best correlation among the blood perfusion and the metabolic activity and the liver pathology. So you can see here is the anastomosing branches of the portal vein hepatic artery and bile duct. So whenever there is the bile duct uh, occlusion there will be stasis of the bile over here in this area. In uh, other cases when there will be the um, ischemia uh, in case of some lesion or pathology in the hepatic artery. So the uh, most affected area will be the zone 3 because it is farthest from the uh, anastomosing branches of the hepatic artery and zone 1 will be the area which is closest and it will be last to affected. So there are, these are the three different ways to describe histologically 
and the structure of the liver the classic hepatic lobule which is hexagonal in shape the portal lobule which is triangular in shape and liver acinus or acinus of rapaport which is a diamond shape area present in it now i discuss the uh, in detail the hepatic lobule so you can see in this diagram this is the section of the classic hepatic lobule here you can see this is the central vein or terminal hepatic lobule from where the uh, cards of the hepatocytes are radiating these cards are either one cell or some at some places these are two cell thick so in between these cards you can see the um, sinusoids are present and uh, this uh, hepatocytes usually uh, this is a hexagonal in shape it has six faces like dice of the ludo so you can see one face is um, one side of this hepatocyte is facing this hepatocyte and other face is the facing this hepatocyte two faces are the um, facing the endothelium of the sinusoid and one face above and one face below this uh, is also facing the hepatocyte so there are six faces of this hepatocytes four facing the nearby hepatocyte and two faces facing the uh, terminal hepatic lobule the endothelium of the terminal hepatic lobule so the faces where the hepatocytes are joined to each other there is the terminal hepatic uh, 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 terminal hepatic uh, vein bile duct is present this is the biliary uh, duct, duct tube which is formed between the tight junctions of the hepatocytes and bile which is produced in this hepatocyte is transported through this bile duct tube and then into the terminal bile duct tube into the bile duct yeah, so uh, this is the pathway of the bile then uh, you can see uh, the endothelium this endothelium is a discontinuous endothelium and in between these endothelial cells you can also appreciate uh, this cell uh, this one so this this cell is the uh, kupfer cell which is part of the sinusoidal epithelium over here and it is uh, this cell is one of the cell of the reticulo endothelial system another kupfer cell present over here another kupfer cell present over here in this diagram so uh, this is like the web uh, it is a web shaped cell and uh, then you can see the uh, terminal hepatic uh, lobule and the uh, fenestration in this hepatic lobule then you can see uh, this is the uh, uh, portal vein the hepatic artery and the bile duct and this whole is the portal area so there is a little bit connective tissue surrounding this portal area which separates it from this uh, cards of the hepatocyte so the space between this connective tissue and between these cards of the hepatocyte is called space of the mal and this is actually the space where the lymph originates in it 